In this video, I will attempt to draw Shadow the Hedgehog in an hour. Cut that time in half, cut that time in half, and cut that time in half. Let's go ahead and get started. My name is Agent Double Sonic. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. It's been an amazing year for Sonic the Hedgehog. Starting with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie, Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Prime, but what about Shadow the Hedgehog? I am going to be drawing Shadow the Hedgehog in an hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes. And I know what you're gonna say. 5 minutes does not have 15. It does not look that good on another thumbnail. Trust me, I know. Let's go ahead and get started. The materials that I will be using in this video will be the Strathmore sketchbook. I realize it's the only non-tan sketchbook that I got. The JPack art set using everything from the pencils, erasers to the markers, a separate brush marker not included in the kit, and of course a ruler for the lines to segment them from one timestamp from another. With our work area and paper set up, pulled the reference image that we're creating the video from, and let's go ahead and get started. With our time frame, this is the least stressful attempt out of them all. With the preliminary drawing done, I go back in, erase the rough lines, or the rougher lines, make some more defined lines, erase those and then I start the dreaded inking. I want to tell y'all about this book series I'm listening to on Audible book Preface. I love monster films and stories and just in general, Dress Park is my favorite film of all time. Um, Godzilla, King Kong, anything kaiju related but the book series I'm currently listening to is this trilogy called Jurassic Dead. And in a very, very brief synopsis because it's 106 chapters, 23 hours long, Dinosaurs get discovered in Antarctica, but that's not all. There's a prehistoric virus along with them that possesses the host and turns them into zombies or zombie dinosaurs and eventually the humans. So they turn into these dino zombie human hybrids. And over the course of three books, there's a lot of survival, trying to protect the world from others turning into these creatures and of course stopping a mad man, evil genius guy from taking over the world with the new race of human zombie dino creatures. But now on to the coloring for the base. I wanted to use the alcohol based markers and I gotta say my time went by a lot quicker than I thought because by the time I got to this part yeah this is my first drawing in a very long time the last drawing that I did was the Christmas in July and I'm telling you right now that took much longer than an hour it took me 30 minutes to sketch and draw it out it took me another 20 to ink it it's still pretty bad for an hour and now we're gonna go down to 30 minutes for drawing sketching inking and I'm not gonna lie I originally was gonna have a color pencil in this but obviously I did not get to that so yeah 30 minutes is gonna be very interesting so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get to 30 minutes now you would think with the time cut in half, I would be stressed worse than I was with the hour, but actually I was better prepared because I knew what colors I was going to be doing. I was already warmed up for drawing for an hour. It was pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. I got the rough sketch just a little bit simpler. And then after that, I laid down the same colors that I had before. And then I got to the colored pencil very, very briefly. Dang. So this one turned out a lot better than I expected for 30 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Um, I actually got to use the colored pencil, something that I was trying to get done in the first one that I didn't get done. But let's go ahead and get to the 15 minutes. 15 minutes on the clock now considering what we did in an hour and what we managed to do in 30 minutes 15 minutes is going to honestly be a lot of blocking so what that means is that my method of attack for this was just to get the general shape of shadow of the hedgehog by making sure i got the feet i got the body i got the hands i got the skull face everything had to be blocked because 15 minutes i wanted to make sure i did it as best as possible 
after I got the basic sketch done, there was no time to go in for hard lines or anything like that. I just immediately started with coloring. So then I went with the colors that are in shadows colors. So I went for the dark grays, I went for the blacks, then after that I went to get the eyes and the reds for his hands, his uh, hedgehog quills, his shoes and everything like that. And I wanted to do so much, but in only 15 minutes, I forgot to do the outline between the drawing and the coloring. And well, <laughs> what you see is what you get. And yeah. Okay, so 15 minutes, chat is slowly shrinking into like a chibi. And I think it's just because I'm trying to get as much stuff done. So I don't want to keep the surface area of the page and so I'm just like slowly reducing the amount look slowly reducing the height so it's like his full stature and then I realize he's slowly started getting smaller his shoes are like increasingly getting bigger the details themselves like at this point I'm just trying to put color so that way that I can recognize it but, but yeah now we're gonna go down to five minutes five minutes on the clock let's get to it with even less time on the clock for five minutes I just okay we knew what we had to do, we did it for the hour, we did it for 30 minutes, we did it for 15 minutes, and now for 5 minutes. This was incredibly hard. I had to get the basic look of shadow, and not to mention that I was also adjusting the camera for some weird reason. I blocked, <laughs> I got the face, the hands, and I spent way too long trying to figure out the entire body proportion. I'm pretty sure I spent 3 minutes just sketching, I didn't even get to color. I picked the basic colors, I got the gray. And then I threw black down, I threw yellow, red, and I'm talking to myself throughout this entire process because I'm like, wow. I just went in to do something. I didn't even use the fine tip on the markers. I used the brush tip and then I just hastily, very hastily grabbed the pencil because I threw ink out the window at this point. And I just went <laughs> to try to make some sort of shape that is shadow. All right, well then. There you have it, there is the hour, there is the 30 minutes, there is the 15 minutes and the five minutes of the drawing time challenge of Shadow the Hedgehog. Which one was my personal favorite? 30 minutes. Why? 30 minutes I actually had time to draw enough and I actually was able to use the markers to blend it perfectly and I got to use the color pencil even if it was for less than a minute. That was my favorite. But as a thank you for watching and to justify Shadow the Hedgehog without creating a separate video for it, because you made it through, the rest of this video is a time lapse of me actually drawing Shadow the Hedgehog in its full glory using every single tool at my disposal. So I'm doing the outro now. That way you all can just watch the time lapse, let it go through. Peace, love, and hot sauce. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy. Holidays, Merry Belated Christmas, Boxing Day, Happy New Year's. I won't have a video out before New Year's as much as I would love to. I will see y'all in 2023. Big things coming soon. Finishing up the rest of my commissions. Don't worry, my commission nears. I did not forget y'all. Trust me. That being said, my name's Agent Double Sonic. Cue the music. And I'll see y'all in 2023.